Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Necropara. I wasn't trying to stab you or anything like that. Last time we left off, Coconut's all good again. She's working fine. The girls are... Azuki may be a little bit jealous, but I don't know what about to find out a bit here. Really, she said that Coconut never listens to her. It's the older sister. That must be pretty frustrating for her. It must be quite in a bind since she's never upfront about her feelings. No way she'd know them so well if she didn't love them. Seems like the Minuduki family's eldest cat girl really is a one of the I think... I think. <laughs> Sincerely. It must be tough being an older sister. That's right. I'm very difficult. I'm going to get rid of the house of the house. I'm going to get rid of the house of the house. I'm going to get rid of the house of the house. I'm going to get rid of the house of the house of the house. Why would I spend so much on a bowl for you? I won't change the subject. 25,000 yen for one bowl. Even Misaki's most expensive tuna bowl is about 5,000 yen. I'm not sure which of the two is actually close to the normal price now. I guess you'd have to eat it to really understand. Alright, well, how about some fats? Come on. Yeah. There we go. Oh, <laughs> Oh, she's enjoying it. <laughs> Best audio. Just keep going. I never expected as if you could be this cute. I'm trying desperately not to purr, but that was already sticking straight up. Where's your tail? I don't see it. This is only natural that a cat girl would like being fed. Continue to pet Azuki as I admire her. Come on, there's no one else around. You could do whatever you want. I mean, you could purr if you want. He's trying so hard, it's so cute. なんだかんだ言ってやっぱりおずきもお兄ちゃんに甘えたかったんでしょあちゃちげえよおめえみてなこねこちゃんと同じように喜んでたくせにちげえって今のは歌唱の手が癖から出たフレーメンだフレーメ
comes along, putting on a show and acting oh so in the, in, in, in the in, in. grammar is failing me, I'm sorry. But underneath the sarcastic exterior, she's obedient. I reflect on that as I tell her to change her clothes. Alright, Cinnamon, I'm giving you a key to the store. Don't let me down, okay? What's with the hands? What's with the, the booby grabbing hands? Oh, I'm dressed up. What kind of apology do you think I have to give? <laughs> Don't worry about it, just come on. I try to reassure Zuki as she makes excuses. We chat, night falls, we walk around the shopping district. So I spend some time with you, girl. You always money always comes involved in conversation with you, doesn't it? Yes, yes, you have my sincere gratitude, Zuki Sama. Huh, must be somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. We're going into stores, Zuki. Huh? I wanted to do a cliffhanger, but the video is a bit too short. Oh. Uh, oh, he put her in a dress. Why did you put her in a dress? I mean, I, I, it doesn't bother me. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. But <laughs> Why put her in a dress? What is the purpose of this? She looks damn cute, though. She mutters, her embarrassed face glowing bright red. Eh, yeah, it suits you, Zuki. Aw, oh, she's all embarrassed. She's not used to wearing frilly party dresses. Zuki fidgets, idly pressing her fingertips together. As her face reddens even more, she shoots me a contested glance. I wonder if it's okay for a cat girl to be wearing an outfit like this. <laughs> it's so cute when she tries to act up. Honestly, she does look stunning in dress, though. Yes, she does. Personality-wise, it's pretty rough around the edges. Oh, don't get me, don't get me started there. But uh, I think we'll, I think we'll end off right here for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. I'd be pretty be grateful I didn't leave you a cliffhanger.